As farmers harvest their crops and deliver it to elevators, early tests are showing cases of vomitoxin in wheat. There's a lot to know about this type of fusarium damage, and many farmers are asking, what does this mean for my crop? Here are the top five things you need to know about vomitoxin and how to manage it. Number one, vomitoxin is produced by fusarium mold. During wet, humid summers, fusarium head blight can spread across wheat fields in the prairies. This year, there's a chance that the fusarium growing in your fields could be the strain that produces a substance called vomitoxin. Number two, Vomitoxin affects some types of wheat and barley. Vomitoxin can occur in many crops, including hard red spring wheat, hard red winter wheat, durum, and malting barley. It affects how your production can be used, because when we're talking about vomitoxin, we're not just talking about food quality, we're talking about food safety. Number three. Vomitoxin is invisible to the naked eye. When Cargill sees signs of fusarium growth in a sample of wheat, we send it to a lab to get tested. Lab technicians grind it down, mix it with water, and then use agents to determine the presence and amount of vomitoxin in the sample. Number four. Vomitoxin affects crops unevenly. Just like fusarium disease, vomitoxin only affects patches of a field. So it's important to sample your lots according to the way you have physically binned the grain. That way, if you discover that you have a range of vomitoxin results, you can prevent badly affected grain from getting mixed in with less affected grain. Number five. Some wheat with fusarium damage can still be used. We know this is a busy time of year, but don't write off your wheat crop just yet. Cargill needs all grades of wheat, and the presence of fusarium doesn't mean your crop is unmarketable. Contact your local Cargill representative today for advice on gathering a representative sample and submitting it for testing. Once you know what you have in the bin, we can work with you on a plan to market it.